So yeah, hello everybody and today I just want to have a look at the new Global Operation Kiwi with you so for now. They just published the site and it's possible to pre-order it here as you see. So it's not online yet and we're just gonna have a look on this website and I give you my first thoughts on it. So get access. Five mission chains with various difficulty levels and progress rating. Complete them all and get special rewards. Okay, that sounds good actually. That's not random, like absolute power. I like that. Excellent prices are there for you. Okay. That's like that's like Atlas of War, so you achieve missions and at the end you get the best rewards for like each. It looked similar, yeah, if you go here and then you get the best. So characters, what what kind of correct? What the fuck? They look so strange. They in my opinion they don't fit to our face. Really, they don't fit. That looks so strange. Choose your corrector, level it up and get valuable rewards. Maybe this is like squats or something. Own stats and can be increased. Um Okay, okay, I can't tell you something about them now since I can't click on them. Marketplace, okay, I guess everybody knows what marketplace is. Crates. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have four types of crates. This one is absolute power. This one is for the new uh, Kiwi operation. This one is Atlas 4, and I have actually no idea what this is. This is, I think, Winter Hunt. We didn't have this global operation on Europe, but it was on the Russian server. I think that's Winter Hunt. So we just get rewards from these global operations and that boxes, I guess. So, wait, get crates. Oh my god, we need fucking keys. This is like CSGO, man, that we get boxes for leveling up or playing, and then we need to open them with keys. Actually, that makes me pretty sad. That we need to purchase keys. I let's see if there actually if there's a free way to get keys, then it's nice. If not, then it would totally suck. <clears throat> Weapon crafting. Oh, there's another new gun as well. So for everybody who didn't know, in Absolute Power, we had a chance to, or we still have the chance to create a gun. So basically, you collect kind of resources for playing games and opening boxes that you receive for winning games. And with these resources, you can craft different parts of a gun. And actually craft the gun itself at the end. So, and I, uh, absolute power is what it was the AK Alpha, and here it's what, what is it? Actually, I think that's the Chris Super Five or something. I know that from other games. I'm not sure if it's called like that. I'm sorry if it's wrong. So, I guess we'll be able to craft it like an absolute power. But I don't know. Wep. Oh my God! Some new skins. What the fuck is this, man? Okay, seems like they even introduced a new weapon with this global operation. This actually looks good. Looks uh, similar to the F-1000. Uh, yeah, I think it will be a burst weapon though. That looks nice. I'm pretty interested how we're gonna get this and how good this is. So for sniper, we have the semi sniper, the legendary one. Oh, and my favorite sniper. All right. For NG, the desert tech and the new legendary one. For medic, FOSS tech. And the legendary ones, so basically always the new ones and the legendary ones. The auto pistol again, we already had an absolute power skin for that. And my favorite will revolver, I'm just gonna get that, I know that already. Tactical X, okay, for knives we actually have three. Um, Bowie knife, that looks damn good on the, like, um, knife. Some shades there, that looks good. I like, I really like this one. This is not my knife at all, but this one just looks awesome. And the Kukuri Machit, alright. Equipment, we are also gonna have unique Kiwi equipment, so for that. So there's a full set bonus again, so if you collect all these four, you get a bonus again. So the bonus reload speed is plus 20, accuracy plus 10, sprint sp plus 5, explosion damage minus 40. That's actually very, very good in hack, hack protection, way more. This is. This this set together is gonna be very very good. So let's have a look here. Armor, melee damage. Okay, that's basically standard. Recall, arm protection. That's a mixture of warlord and protective. This could be interesting for some people that have problems with recall. Damn, this helmet also looks good. Head protection plus 40. Actually, I don't really like this helmet. I'm a fan of helmets that actually protect you from flashes and. Um, Stuff and show mines, so this is not my kind of helmet. That's how they look like. All just have protection, black protection. They are similar to the open cup boots, all right. Last but not least, the achievements for mission. Okay, they look damn good, and I also like this ones. 
This is also awesome. I guess that's for the eleventh, like twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, one hundred, like in absolute power and atlas of war as well. Oh no, actually it's for the tournaments. Okay, I didn't see that. My bad. Then this is for personal progress. I guess we will have some kind of continents again. So one for each continent or one for each chain. We will see. Okay, for Kiwi weapon kills. I, actually, I don't really like this uh, stripes. They are not my stripes. They do. Oh my god. Achievements for class equipment. So you need to collect all the equipments I showed you before here for one class and you're gonna get one of these stripes. That was also the same in um, Absolute Power, kinda. Achievements for character missions. They actually look interesting. I really like how they look. So now let's go to get access. So you will have two options. Buying just the access for $6 so you'll just get access to the global operation. Till it's gone, and we have the set headset bun, uh, head start bundle. So there we have the access experience 500. I guess that's pretty much good for a start and definitely worth it. Also 300 um, battle points, and actually there we see these keys. Like from is go to open boxes. So I guess these are some like combat boxes where you just get stuff like weapons, skins, whatever. We will see. I can't predict that. And here you're gonna have some Kiwi uh, themed boxes also with five keys for that. They seem like they're pretty rare and pretty good. So actually the price difference is just four dollars and for that you're actually also getting, um, wait let me show you that fast. I didn't open that but if you're actually pre-ordered it you're also gonna get here 5,000 of these awesome smokes, 5,000 of these awesome smokes, which is already <laughs> worth it for me to actually pay $4 more since, um, you, what am I talking, uh, since I'm using so many smokes, like 5,000, that's actually perfect for me, so I guess it will already be useful for me to buy the pre-order stuff, and also the nice AK Alpha Desert Camo that was, um, announced early on the AK Alpha video by my.com, so... Yeah, that's it for this event. In my opinion, actually, it's really worth it to order uh, to pre-order the headstar bundle since you get 300 battle points, which are already worth like five dollars normally. Last events they cost like six dollars for th 300 already, so just paying four dollars more, and you even get 500 experience points and 10 keys for boxes. I think that's pretty much worth it since you pay six euros anyway. You can also pay these four to get more. So. Yeah, these are my first thoughts on this uh, site, on this new global operation now, and I will keep you up to date with new infos, with new stuff I figure out about this global operation, and yeah, I hope it will be good. We'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.